you guys and welcome to the channel if you're new don't be What up you guys welcome to the channel if you're new don't be go ahead and click that subscribe button to be a part of the witness gang to join the witness nation now let's get into this shall we okay you guys welcome 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 and as per normal i want to ask if you could do me a favor and if you could please let me know how you guys are feeling this new intro um i do still have the old one so you know if you're not feeling it let me know girl we'll go back to it this is your channel just as well this is fine okay all right let's go so um i don't know how um new or old to this topic that i'm about to discuss but nonetheless i wanted to discuss it i wanted to sit back and really you know just digest and take everything in but my boy storm and Roe broke the news about ryan henry messing around with his um best friend his brother um God's sons or God child or God children's father's baby mama, right? And um, he just actually did an interview with the guy um, on on yesterday. And I'm happy I waited because I was able to, um, you know, get a little more in depth on the perspective of the guy that actually has, um, you know, been dealt the card. And um, then I was able to look and see, you know, if uh, Ryan was going to respond. Not for nothing. I'm going to let you guys see um, this little snippet of the little clip from it. Um, check the entire interview out at Storm and Roll's um, YouTube channel. And I am going to come back with my commentary. But I hope Ryan gets, you know, whatever he's looking for, man. Like, if he needs a hook. Whatever he needs, man, I, I I want him to get it, man. Like I said, I want him to be a good father to his kids. I want him, you know what I'm saying, to be happy in life. You know what I mean? Like I said, I, I, you fucked up my shit. Like, like I feel my shit fucked up, but it's it's not the end of the world. You know what I mean? Um, but I hope you I hope you continue to seek therapy because even even after you get over this, man, you're gonna start feeling residuals of this shit. You it might be three months down the road. You might wake up angry, so you're gonna need someone to help you walk through all of that. Oh, definitely. Cause yesterday I thought I was cool, and then I woke up today feel like a building sitting on my chest. You know. Yeah. So, are you are you still are you are you gonna continue to still mess around with Nina as well? Um, not right. I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna say what I won't do and what I will do. Like I said, she got the like. I love my son. Like people, don't, I love my son so much. Yeah, my son, I always want my son to have a family. Like, I, I feel my son should be raised with his mother and father. So, yeah. Okay. I'm a, hey, I don't know. But, yeah, I, I love my son. I don't want to have him out here like that. You know what I'm saying? And then no man, no other man can raise my son. So, might as well. All right, you guys were able to check that little snippet of the video out. And the reason why I grabbed that one because I was just, uh, that is just, the overall psyche of this guy who got dealt a bad car and i thought it was dope for him to still say that i wish this dude well you know i don't i'm not beefing you know and to be honest with you this anthony guy really i commend him you know and um and the actions that ryan has been taking really make me not like him and to be honest with you ryan gives off this cute boy syndrome like he knows he looks good you know what i'm saying and he's cocky and he's arrogant but not for nothing let's just dissect and um, put everything on the table okay all right, so what was said is the simple basis that, you know, Ryan was messing around with his God children's father, uh, I mean, a father's baby mama, right? The mother of his uh, children. Um, and the thing is this that um, Anthony stated that they met each other on the pilot of the show. So he's not really clear as to how long they have been dealing with each other from his knowledge and the baby mama's knowledge. What she's saying is that it just was a year ago. Okay. Mind you, this guy, Anthony, has been going through uh, cancer. Um, he had, uh, I want to say, oh gosh, y'all don't give me line, but what um, our Black Panther um, uh, died from, I think it was 
pancreatic cancer. Please, please, please don't hold me to it. But not for nothing. He was dealing with that. And while he was dealing with that, these individuals were getting in, right? And this is not something that he heard through the grapevine. He saw it verbatim, like text messages and things to that nature. So it's nothing that they can deny. But to build up and to give you a little more foresight, both of them are acting like he did something wrong by finding out this information and the nerve and the gall. And that's what's so disgusting about individuals that handle like that. This dude wasn't even going trying to go upside either when they had something that I would do. You know what I'm saying? He's just kind of like, dang, like, you know what I'm saying? Hold yourself accountable for one and for two. Like, be honest and be thorough and be empathetic and sympathetic about the situation. Not for nothing. He said, you know, eventually uh, his baby mama was the type that was kind of like, you know, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, you know. And then Ryan has not said anything. Let me just say this in regards to uh, Ryan, um, you know, and it's funny because Rachel already peeped game. You know, that's why for a while she kind of was just like, you know, like, uh-uh. Uh -uh, you know and the funny thing is Anthony said that she was the one that was more re remorseful um it didn't surprise her but it was just like she just cared more to know if he was okay how did it affect him and blah 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 and the thing is as I was saying as far as Ryan what we have to realize I'm not excusing him at all because what he did was bogus okay but not for nothing and I say this I said this countless of times people that deal with sexual abuse um, trauma, um, you know, uh, in any kind of stage, all right? You see something that, you know, rocks your world or stops your world for a second and you don't deal with that, um, you don't grieve properly, you get behavior like this and we just grow into these dysfunctional as adults, okay? And I say that based off of the uh, sexual traumatic situations that I've been in as well as just traumatic situation I've been in, seeing, you know, somebody get shot, you know, in their neck and they die and they're laying in front of my street and this is something I deal with you know living in Pleasant Grove uh, my neighbor you know who name will be um not used but he shot somebody and um he shot him like a few like a house over from our house in the street and he laid there and I I was like what the hell you know and then dealing with uh standing by somebody who um well, we were just leaving the club out you know how people just park a lot surf and uh, we were in the parking lot of Jack in the Box. And uh, we were, you know, all just sitting down in the parking lot and some beef was going, uh, uh, you know, happening across the way. And a dude decided to shoot in the parking lot of the place where we was at. And the person next to me and my best friend at the time got shot. She got shot in her arm. And, you know, we were literally right there by, by her. You know, we're ducking and dodging the bullets and things like that. So not for nothing. Being in traumatic situations, especially with your boy Ryan, going through what he went through with his sister, and you see how very disconnected he is to the topic, to emotions when it deals with that. Um, it's like he doesn't want to go there. Um, until he breaks, this is the behavior that you're going to get. Okay, you're going to get these this behavior because he's disconnected okay um he doesn't he can't connect with um uh, you know vulnerable situations as such you know and her people her people and he's still dealing with that this man literally i mean this man said he literally wiped up the blood of his sister okay and his niece like yeah so the thing is, is that, yeah, he may be just functioning in society, being normal, but you can tell by his behavior in relationships. You can tell by his behavior and just not dealing with things, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to get um, this kind of behavior from a man that is not dealing with his traumatic situations. And I know that we saw him going to counseling, but I don't think it was genuine. I don't think the counseling was genuine. I think it was put in place for the show. I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. But, you know, when you have consistent, um, you know, uh, support system there uh, consistently, that can help. But the thing is, is that, you know, like I tell people, faith the way I works is dead. You know, um, I think he needs some spiritual help, you know what I'm saying? Um, and um, along with the physical help that you get from a psychologist. And people have to realize, God bless 
a lot of psychologists in this world to help us. And they go hand in hand when you put them together with faith or somebody of faith, like your pastor and things like that, church or whatever the case may be, you know, a spiritual higher power that's going to hold you uh, to accountability. You know what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of people don't deal too well with faith, especially Christianity, because with Christianity, you're going to be held accountable for the actions in which you're putting out to the world. And a lot of people don't want to deal with that. It's just you just want to live in this world and do what you want to do. But when you do what you do, it comes consequences. You know, and so the thing is, is that, you know, he saw some of those consequences in which how he did Rachel. You dogged her, you did her wrong, and you are no longer with your family. You know what I'm saying? And he's throwing this whole grown man fit because that's who he really wants to be with. That's that's where his heart is. But, you know, you're not showing actions of that. So why would a person want to put themselves back in a situation like that for you to do that? Then he's been thrust into the spotlight, you know, where literally this man is, can have any woman that he wants. He's very handsome, very charismatic, you know what I'm saying? But on the inside of his core, it is rotten. And that's because he's not willing to do the work in which it takes to better himself. He's not willing to get vulnerable. And a lot of men nowadays do that. And then they neglect the people around them because they are exploding on the inside. Okay, um, not for nothing. Um, you know, um, this is a post that Ryan recently posted in regards to being narcissistic. I'm not sure if he was trying to say this guy Anthony is that, because from the interview, um, he stated that you know Ryan, um, is stating like you know it's more to the story, but it's no more to the story, dude. Like I hate when dudes do not want to hold themselves accountable. It's no way, shape, or form. I don't care if this girl was getting banged upside her head. It's not your cause to stick your pink in her to make her feel better. It just doesn't. It just doesn't equate and add up. You know, what I'm saying if it was anybody else, I think, um, you know, Anthony would have received it better, but my brother, my best friend, and then you have the nerve to say, well, it's more to the story. There's nothing more to the story. And unless this man said, hey, here she goes. And even still, and, uh, you know, not to jump around, but Anthony even said in the interview, he was just saying, you know, if Rachel was to drop dead, drop drop them draws right there in front of him, he would be like, girl, what are you doing? Because it's not there. It's not, you know, but the thing is, is that I really don't think that Ryan really genuinely can have uh, real relationships with people because, you know, he can't even get himself together. You know what I'm saying? And like that saying goes, um, you know, I have to love myself first before I can love someone else. And I don't think he loves himself enough to even get himself help. All right. To deal with the trauma and deal with what he went through with losing his sister and having to go through what he went through um, to move forward. You know, I think he's a shell of a man, you know, and it's unfortunate that, you know, when we go through things like this, we do damage the people around us and genuinely people that truly love us. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, here recently I did a video in regards to Asriel. You know, if you guys weren't able to see it, check it out. But it was a situation in which she kind of just kind of snapped at me, you know, and, um, you know, I, I don't give excuse for her behavior, period. I don't because I didn't deserve the response in which I got, you know, um, I don't think that it was warranted, um, you know, and I looked over it several times like, well, maybe, you know, but no, I'm not giving any excuses for that, you know, and um, if it was on the shoe was on the other foot. I would be like sincerely apologetic, you know, um, but the thing is, is that at the end of the day, I'm not mad at her. Um, I get it. You know, um, when you're in situations, traumatic sexual situations, I can't imagine what she went through. Um, you know, her, how her mind is, her psyche, how she receives stuff. I feel like though, maybe, um, I struck a chord. Maybe I, I struck something in regards to her feeling unprotected, uh, unsafe, you know, and I get it, you know, and like I said, I sincerely apologize, but um, not for nothing. I feel as though um, leaving this here that we all need to check ourselves before we literally wreck ourselves, wreck relationships, um, um, you know, uh, wreck friendships and on sort, and then to have the nerve to bring life into this world when we have so much stuff that we need to deal with internally is kind of scary and sad because you got to understand that if these children are around dysfunction or are taking witness to such a, a shell of an individual, then what can they expect, you know? And we don't think about the children. We say it's about the children, but 
It starts with us. We need to better ourselves so our children can be better. But not for nothing, you guys. Um, that is my two, three, four, five, six cents on um, this whole situation. Like I said, you can check out the whole entire interview with Anthony and Storm and Rose on Storm and Rose channel. It was beautiful. And it was cool to hear Anthony himself say that, you know, Storm and Rose broke it. Regardless of where you're hearing it, you guys, or where you're seeing it, Storm and Rose, a YouTuber, broke that news in regards to everything, you know, and the way he handled it was beautifully, you know, and you, you got to understand some of us YouTubers have integrity, you know, like I told you guys, even reading those DMs, the only reason why I came to the forefront with the situation between me and Azrael, because I clearly put out some, um, um, uh, wrong information and I wanted to clarify that, you know, but I've been given a lot of things, but I am of integrity. And if I feel like people aren't ready to come out or if they if I feel like, you know, I need more information, I'm not going to fix my mouth to say anything, you know, um, and if I miss it, I miss it, you know, but that's what you get when you watch Whitney D TV, you guys tell me what you think in the comments below. While you're there, please take out the time to like, share and subscribe. If you are already a subscriber, thank you and welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're not, why? What's taking you so long? Go ahead and click that subscribe button to be a part of the Witness Gang to join the Witness Nation, okay? Now, you guys, don't forget to visit all of my brand affiliates down in the description box below. Go ahead and grab one of those codes and get you a discount upon your purchase, okay? Let them know that Whitney D of Whitney D TV sent you guys. Love you so much. It's been real. I am Whitney D signing off. Bye. Lips and Lashes by Shea Cosmetics is way more than its namesake. From primers, mascaras, eyeshadows, foundations, lippies, lashes, and so much more. For that fierce look you can't find anywhere else, Lips and Lashes by Shea Cosmetics. Tell them Whitney from Reviews Whitney D sent you. Shazaz Creations is a virtual boutique for creative customized apparel, tumblers, and jewelry. Allow them to create a keepsake that you can use as a heirloom for centuries to come. Everything from blankets to pillows, allow your memories to come alive with every picture. Tell them Whitney D from Whitney D TV sent you. Use the Whitney D code or link in the description box below. Bye. I am happy to say that I am a brand ambassador of Noel. Noel is handcrafted, no harsh chemicals, scrubs, oils, soaps, and more. Quality skincare at affordable prices. Check them out and let them know that Whitney D of Whitney D TV sent you by using either my code Whitney30 at checkout or the link in the description box below. Welcome to Embrace Pangea. These products are all created to bring you back to balance through nature's gifts. They have a wide range of products that deal with various aspects of daily life, such as deodorants, juices, clothing, vagina detoxes, and body scrubs. Whichever product that you decide to embrace, you can rest assured that it was created with love for the betterment of self. Embrace your Pangea. Visit the link in the description box below and let them know that Whitney D of Whitney D TV sent you. Bye. So yeah, so check out the uh, site embracepangea.com and uh, embrace your Pangea. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for tuning into the show. Now it's your turn. We want to hear from you. But remember, keep it cute or get the boot. Let's talk in the comments down below. Check out all our sponsors and affiliates in the description box. And, and don't forget to join the Witness Nation by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you. Until next time, this is Whitney D with Whitney D TV. Signing off.